Good evening everyone and welcome to this, the second episode of the Anime Cast. We recorded this several weeks ago when Nikolai was ill and had no voice to record our usual episode. For this episode we started out in the usual way, before eventually being given a list of anime to quickly discuss our thoughts on. Hopefully you enjoy listening as much as myself, Tensho, Lenida and Ash enjoyed talking about it. Also, I, a mortally young king of the weebs bellary, chose the backing music from a selection of the classic weebius songs. This is Anime Cast version 2, Ganbate Mina. So we're just going to pick random animes and talk about them. Probably talk a lot of crap. Yay. Like, I am is Tensho, this... the mighty rock lover. And the fellow chatties that may be interested are... I am Bellary, king of the weebs. I am actually really behind on shows, and I have loads that I need to pick up. But I haven't got around to it because Monster Hunter and Warframe. Yes, and um... I'm Ora Dulce. I haven't watched that many as of late. I'm looking forward because, like, Netflix is sort of swimming over with them, so... but Netflix so, pulling yeah. in quite a few at the moment. Yeah. What was the last one I watched on Netflix? Violet Evergarden. Yeah, I've been watching that a lot. That's... I heard the story shit, but it looks gorgeous. Stories, eh. Kind looks... of okay. The overall story, the one that kind of threads it all together is fine, but the individual episode stories don't always <laughs> convince me. <laughs> No. But it looks fantastic. Yeah. It uh, really does. The only thing bad about it is that it's like one episode a week. It's like not the whole They're series all of out there. Yeah, they're probably is because I've been lagging off on that one as well. 13 episodes. So it wasn't bad. I don't use Netflix for anime, but they're still doing the thing where they wait for uh, all of the episodes to be out and uh, then some they just of them dump them in one go. It, it varies with the box set sort of things that come out they'll just give you the box set but if it's something that's airing they will start just going an episode at a time yeah which is fine yeah that's right like because they absolutely botched the airing of little witch academia doing that oh god yes which was really good by the way but it's trigger so of course it's going to be good yeah yeah so that's actually a good one because i was yeah i saw this look this might be for kids so i haven't watched it but i mean it is compared to trigger's usual stuff but what Trigger yeah. is putting out at the minute is a show called Darling in the Franks, where they pilot mechs by essentially doing doggy style. Huh? It's actually a very good anime. It's really good. I'm enjoying it, and the episode that we just had there is actually quite nice. It is. Like, it's genuinely one of the best anime. It's Trigger. Trigger always puts out good stuff. It's one yeah. of the best anime I've seen in a while. But, like, also, that is not an inaccurate statement. Called no, it's Darling, not. Darling not really. in the Franks? Yes. Yeah, Franks, Franks with, with two, two X's. X's. With no K, two X's. Yeah. <laughs> on Crunchyroll. Yeah, it's very nice, actually. We enjoy it. What else have they got going at the moment? My Hero Academia Season 3. Oh, okay, yes. That's... Oh, it's looking interesting. It, wait, yeah, it's great. Then again, I have read the manga, so I know what's yeah. coming. I'm caught up, but it's always interesting to see how it transposes into actual animation. Because uh, sometimes they can be faithful to it, and then other times they can just go off in a slightly well, different direction. The anime original episodes that they've done have been good. Like, the first one in this season's an anime original episode as well. Yeah. It's, and they do a good job. It's good. It looks nice. You actually feel like you're having a story along with but, it. Again, I said it before, but I do want to address the fact that the opening theme song is good. God awful. Uh, for season three. Yeah, the animation. Uh, beautiful. Yeah. The song is weird, and just oh. Uh, given a <laughs> choice, give me season two's opening. I prefer that one above that one. There's people who have put different songs to the opening. Season two's opening song with the animation from season three is oh, if really it, if good. If you could just have point. that opening sequence every single time, it would be brilliant. I'll tell you what was the most disappointing show for me for opening and ending themes. Mm. Iron Blooded Orphans, because the first opening and the first ending were absolutely fantastic. They were great. Yeah. And there was about four subsequent ones, which is not as good by a long way, and I was so disappointed. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Have you heard? Double O is getting another season, though. So what was getting another Gundam season? Gundam Double O is getting another season. Oh. Have we a third season? 
How yeah. the heck can they take that after the movie? I don't know, I haven't watched it. Cause... They do have a new anime out, Gundam Build Divers. Yeah, I never got into Build Fighters. Mm. I really like some of the designs from Build Fighters and I've got some of the kits, but I just couldn't get into the show. Maybe I'll get into Build Divers, but... If you didn't really like it, I would say Build Divers at the moment has more potential than the first two if you didn't really like the model building side of it. But just because of the nature of it, because it's a case of you actually enter a full VR world where you can happen to get inside the Gundam if you wish. Is this the latest Isekai series? <laughs> <laughs> but they have done a double O movie? Yeah, there was they two, the, um, No, there's just one. The was um, Awakening oh. to the Trailblazer. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to check for that one. Is, I really like the designs, but the characters I didn't think were very good in the story. Um, I agree with what you're going. They all looked brilliant, but when I watched it, I kept getting slapped in the face by the storyline from Gundam Wing. When I say designs as well, I mean the Gundams. The people have the weird mid-2000 anime Look. eyes. Yeah, but out of all my Gundam series, Gundam Double O's probably further up the list. Gundam build, eh, entertaining enough. Yeah, it was a long time since I watched them all, so I can't remember which is which anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Stardust Memories a little while ago. Oh, W83 yeah. Stardust Memories. Yeah, I <laughs> never really got into that. I had never been so annoyed in quite a long time at a TV show. Because mm. fucking Nina Purpleton, like, oh no, I love this guy. He's going to drop a colony and wipe out literally... Texas, but I love him so you can't shoot him. And it's like, ugh. Yeah. Like, I was genuinely really irritated at Nina. As you can probably guess, we do enjoy anime, but at the moment we seem to be enjoying the mech anime more than right. others. Because mech anime is the shit, and legit what, probably my favourite anime ever is Gainax's magnum opus. Ah. Tengen Topa Gurren Lagen. Yeah, I love that one. It's also completely nuts. It is, that's why it's great. I spent oh. entirely too much money to acquire Gurren Lager figure. Oh, okay. How much? It, like 80 quid. It's not <laughs> Okay. It's not that bad in the grand scheme of it, to be fair. Uh, no, but that's an awful lot of money for a model. My, oh, no, not a model, a, a figure. Oh, a figure. A ah. An articula- a Revel tech, to be fair. I don't mm. even like Revel Techs very much because they've got weird joints. But Gurren Lagan, he has sunglasses. He has two faces. The one on his chest has sunglasses, and he takes the sunglasses off and hits people with them. I don't know. It's, it's a good anime. I it's do also... need to watch Lagan Han, though. The sort of movie version of it. All that, I'm avoiding it because I enjoy the TV series so much, I don't want to actually spoil it. If you like That's... Mech, full <laughs> Metal Panic's back for a fourth season. Ooh, so I've never watched any of Full Metal Panic. How would you introduce a newbie? Without going into big plot points, obviously. It's a case of military organization defending people called Whispered, who happen to have knowledge in their minds that they don't know how it got there. We haven't yet, as yet, in the animes, seen why they have this information. But basically this organization goes around and they have to have things called ASs, which is basically armed slaves, which is basically a mech, which you can go around and do. A boy soldier who happens to be a specialist with mechs ends up getting assigned to protect a schoolgirl who happens to have this whispered knowledge. And basically you have them build a relationship while he goes to school with her and going off to fight terrorism in giant robots. Well, it's a fairly standard setup. Fairly standard setup. I wouldn't rate it high up on my mech list, but it's one that you can watch and have a laugh with, because there are episodes which are just completely nuts. As in one episode, they actually create a miniature mech, which they cover in one of those, you know, the Japanese giant teddy bear mascot things that they can walk around in theme parks? Oh, they shit, actually... what do you call them? Or something. Ryakuma. Yeah. So something like that. And basically they end up actually building mechs around this. He sells the design off to other countries. So you can flash to a newsreel of America. New Special Forces unit goes in with their brand new gear and suddenly you see this giant teddy bear talking to them. Wait a minute, so they've made a fucking bear guy? Effectively. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just bear guy? No, it's not. Those are the comic episodes, basically. I kind of want a bear guy. Not gonna lie. 
I want a bear go. guy, and I want to give him red LEDs in his eyes. Okay. So he's got like these evil glowy eyes. Right, I've suggested one. Tell us about yourself. I'm going to admit to a secret shame. I actually quite enjoy a bit of Moe Blob, which is essentially cute girls doing cute things. And they're usually harmless comedies. Oh, and they're yeah. just comfortable. And I like a good one of them, but I haven't seen any good ones that are coming out this season. Whenever last season had slow start, the season before it had blend S, and I haven't seen a good one from this season. Whenever new animes come out, I always watch the first episodes of everything, and then when the second episode comes out, I decide whether I want to keep watching it or not. I haven't actually seen anything like that this season. Honestly, I normally give them a few episodes so Reddit can tell me what to watch. Or rather, <laughs> animated GIFs from Reddit that I like the look of can tell me what to watch. Comic Girl seems like it might be a nice little slice of life Moe Blob. Yeah, that. nothing too heavy. I like to have something really chill and comfortable to, you know? Yeah. Flying Witch that. was really good for that. I'm enjoying watching Lupin 3. I need to watch it. It's, uh, they've got, oh god, what is it? Lupin 5? Lupin 3rd, the 5th? It's basically a new anime series. It's not bad, actually. Did you see the one that was a movie? It was the Blood Spray or something for that of, of Goemon Ichikawa. They did a movie it? one, and it was really good. No, not really. I have to find out its proper name, because it, but it's something... It's going to bug the crap out of you now, isn't it? It is. I'm going to have to Google it. <laughs> Finally got to the end of the new Dragon Ball Super. I could never get into Dragon Ball, ever. I've seen a couple of the fights from... The new one, and I guess there's a pink guy called Jiren who everyone's like, Oh my god, Jiren, he's so good. But I guess, yeah, spoiler, spoiler, Goku wins. <laughs> um, not exactly. Sorry, it was actually the blood spray of Ishikawa Goemon. I wasn't ah, sure right. if the name was too ridiculous, but it is. But Goku doesn't te- actually win, what? Yeah, technically he doesn't win, considering it's a battle royale. Uh, spoilers alerts, by the way, to anyone that's listening. It's basically a battle royale, and Goku and another character sacrifice themselves to push off Jiren, while another one of the team happens to be there, and it's not one of the main characters you would have initially thought. Is it Frieza? Frieza's involved. Goku and Frieza was involved, but Goku like, and Frieza team up yeah, and saw... actually push Jiren off. I saw that and it was pretty sick. But my problem it with was a nice. lot of Dragon Ball fights is that it what... goes with a very predictable formula. Well, it's not even that. It's just like he is the same twenty frames of his arms moving, and sometimes their arms touch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. When I was younger, it was something that really sunk into me and probably is still sunk into me and all but oh, yeah we'll see what happens if you got that sort of nostalgia will i always lost it when i was younger with dragon ball i was like okay this fight's been happening for literally two and a half months oh yeah that sort of thing <laughs> oh yeah i fully agree with you that's why i always got it in batches i downloaded the season at a time yeah i feel like it's something you want to like binge by the arc Oh yeah, you've got an arc binge, because if you do an episode at a time, you're going to go, and we're on the 10th episode, why haven't we killed him yet? Yeah, but even then, like, the fights don't look as good as something like Hiroaka, for example, is the first one that comes to mind. It's not what you would call Sakuga. The Dragon Ball Super fights look better, but I think that's mainly just because the animation is better. I really want to watch Gintama is about 500 episodes. Yeah, something I, ridiculous. <laughs> it's something on my list that says, yes, I'm going to watch that at some point, but I never quite get around to doing. It's something like seven of the top ten animes on Mal at Gintama. Yeah. It's really good, but I just... Well, it's 500 episodes, guys. There are not many animes that can get up to that sort of episodes and still be sustainable. Off the top of my head, I can think of Bleach and... In fact, Bleach only made it to 200-something. Yeah. You mean Bleach, which is famously terrible after, like, the second half? Uh, No. Naruto, on the other hand, is still going strong. No, it's not Naruto. It's Baruto's dad's son. Yes, but it's still in the Naruto universe. Yeah, but it's not Naruto himself. Technically, it's an extension. (laughs) Naruto was the show that put me off anime for about a decade. (laughs) Well, I'll tell you what. 
let's try something different. What was the first anime that you watched that got you interested in it? Because I know what mine is. I know what mine is as well. I'm going to have to think back, because it wasn't that long ago. I started watching it with my ex. For me, it was an anime called Detonator Organ. And it wasn't actually an anime series, it was actually a film. And funnily enough, it was a mech film. And it just yeah. really sunk into me. It, I don't know why. It was 1991, give or take, it was, came out. And fun, light-hearted, plenty of action. And after that, I went off to start looking at other ones like Evangelion and Martian Success on Desco. Yeah, I think and, mine was sort of Robotech. Ooh, yeah. And uh, 009. Never fully got into that. Uh, it was <laughs> fun when I was a kid. It's not as fun today though but they've actually done some new versions of 009 i think now that's out on and uh, no there is and they did it out as a film basis i think yeah well I, there is a series but yeah. i think they did a 2012 version might be that i mean i think i think it's at netflix right now it's a very mm. more modern version but uh, the funny thing is i got the original ones that i watched as a kid <laughs> 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 with the bad swedish voice acting Oh my god. Oh my god. It oh, was yes. so poor. It was like it was oh. the French dub of Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh, I laugh at it all the time. The French dub of Dragon Ball is hilarious. Right, now that you've had a chance to frantically double check your yeah, stuff, what so, was yours? This is really going to date when I start getting into anime. Konosuba, the first season of Konosuba, I remember watching that with my ex and being like, we both just absolutely loved it. We were watching other stuff at the same time, like Umaru and Dan Machi, Yuri Yuri, stuff like that. But Konosuba was like the first one. Because Konosuba is the funniest thing I've ever watched. Like, just watch Konosuba if you the shit. Season oh, three yeah. Out. When will season three be out? I don't know. Season three or Riot. Good God, eh, Crusader. She was so pathetic. Right. I really <laughs> want figures as well. Release figmas, please. I really like a figma. I have a growing collection. I have three. The first one I really remember watching was Bubblegum Crisis. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got that on my DVD shelf. And Cyber City was another one. Nightmare. That's what the name was I remember. Nightmare I've heard of, but I can't... No, no, that was the name of the female crusader. Oh. The Night yeah. Savers. I'm thinking of something else then, clearly. So, did you say it was called Konosuba? Yeah, uh -huh. well, its full name is Konosuba Rashi Sekai ni Shikofuku wo. But <laughs> Konosuba will get you what you're looking for. <laughs> Probably the first show Dustiness? that Dustiness? I... Oh, Dustiness Latina, Darkness. Darkness, that's it. Yeah, okay, I didn't realise you were talking about Konosuba. Yeah, Dustiness Latina, the masochistic, not paladin, crusader. Can't hold a sword, but will quite happily stand to get hit by things she's with a, very a big good... smile on her face. She's a very good meat shield, yes. <laughs> she enjoys it to her heart's content. I just... Megamin is great. Can't get enough of Megamin. And... Yes. Wonderfully powerful. Once. Oh, yeah. Anyone else want to pipe in? <laughs> one name of anime that I know that one of our fellow podcasters watched was Helsing. So I thought I'd just annoy him a little bit and talk about it. See whether he agrees with me later or not. I actually haven't watched Helsing because it is just too edgy. I'm afraid I'll cut myself on it. <laughs> a, Helsing, I would say, is a very violent anime. In right. to but the... you've got stuff that's a violent anime, but it's like, it's different. Gundam is a violent anime. Yes, but, but... with Gundam, you don't actually see people die. You, you won't see much blood, etc. You don't see it. It's child friendly, so to speak. All right, then. Whereas in... Helsing, on the other hand, is you see arms and body parts falling off and blood gushing everywhere. Evangelion. Evangelion is very violent. It has arms and blood gushing everywhere. But Helsing is violent in the way that a 14 year old schoolboy's notebook is violent. It's well, so yes, but that's the, you should look at the Helsing Ultimate that came out, which was, you could almost say, a second season. There were times you got a little creeped out if you weren't paying attention. If you just happened to turn away and then turn back, you went, ugh. Overall, I was a little disappointed with it, if I'm honest, because they had potential to really take the story somewhere, and they just focused so much time on the violence, it was just boring. Right, hold on, another question, checking. What did you think of the Netflix live-action version of Death Note? I haven't Which seen Death either. Note, I've seen trailers, and I really don't like 
and this is just in general across, I don't like it when they try and make a live action version of animes. It spoils the fun. Well, I hate all live action conversions of anime, so mm. I would hate that one as well. I didn't... Yeah, I have seen it, and that's what got me to watch the anime afterwards. And it's not that good. It's better than Tokyo Ghoul, but still, not like, by much. It's it's not even close yeah. to the anime. So yeah, uh, I dropped the first, se- the second season of Tokyo Ghoul actually because it got really edgy as well. But I didn't watch the live action Death Note. But what I did watch was the first half of the live action version, of, to- which is the only half that's up, of Full Metal Alchemist, which was a crime. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that one sucked as well. Yeah, it never matches up to your oh. expectations. The problem is, it was made so much worse by trying to do things that Full Metal Alchemist had already done so well. Yeah. Also, there are things you can do in anime that you can't do in real life. It just oh, yeah. doesn't feel right. The transmutation sort of special effects were just boring. They weren't very interesting. Yeah. And like, they didn't have the transmutation actually... scars, which was like kind of like one of the iconic things about it, I think. And it's yeah. even a plot point at one point. Uh-huh. Also, uh, the... Show Tucker, so spoilers, Show Tucker is the worst person ever, but they ruined it, they made him too much of a cartoon villain, and that sounds ironic when we're talking about Chinese cartoons. Yeah, I, but... I know exactly what you mean, they did a live action version of Dragon Ball, and oh good god, loved the anime, that was... thing, it made my skin crawl. I've seen bits of the live action Dragon Ball, yes. And as much as I'm not a fan of the like anime Dragon yeah. Ball, I am sure it is infinitely better. Oh, my skin crawls every time I see a clip of it somewhere. Ugh. The good thing about anime is that you can suspend disbelief even more than you can with watching TV shows because you're not constricted to... Well, I can't have my actors do that because it's too dangerous. In anime, you can just do it and no one cares. Exactly. Right, so on the subject of terrible, terrible adaptations. Okay, yeah. Just the worst anime that you've seen. Oh, I actually know this one. <laughs> I have... Like, there's a correct answer. <laughs> Give me a minute, I'm trying to remember. There was an anime that I got about three episodes through, and I felt like blood was coming out my nose. Well, I feel like the new Devil Man. I have or, not watched it. Man, Cry Baby. I've watched Cry it. Baby, yeah. It was like, Cry Baby, what the yes. fuck? I've heard nothing but great things from it. Okay. I've yeah, yet it's... to watch it. Nah, just, I wouldn't even call it an anime because it's like cartoonish style, more like American shit cartoons, more like, you know, and just really weird. Mine, and it's actually, again, it's quite a recent one. And it was the Juni Ito collection. And it's so bad because of how good it could have been. So you just know who Juni Ito is, right? Nope. Right. He's a mangaka, a manga artist, and he's famous for his horror. And he's just, he's the best at his craft. And so they announced that they were going to do an anime adaptation of some of his short stories. And I was like, sweet, that'll be great. How can they possibly fuck this up? So they really fucked it up. (laughs) (laughs) Like, it's just the animation. So he's got a really iconic style. And it's, it's a lot of it's to do with like the detail that he puts in things. And it's just, they're so half assed it. And it really shows, it ruins what could have been an exemplar of like horror in any media, to be honest, not just anime. Yeah. And anime is kind of lacking in horror, I feel. Like in true horror. Yeah. Which is a shame. I truly want some more shows that were, let's say, darker anime than just. I mean, it's fun sometimes to watch these happy go lucky animes and action animes with mechs and stuff, but I would. Something a little bit more gritty would be nice okay. sometimes right. as well. I have a show for you. Bear with it because you will not believe me until at least the end of the first episode. Okay. Right. It's called School Live or Gakko Gorashi, depending where you're searching for it. Trust me, because I can't say anything about it because it'll spoil why it's really good, but you've just got to go through the first episode and trust me. Okay, it's called School Live? Yeah. Yep. And it will <sighs> look moe and is schoolgirl anime as it could possibly look, yeah, right? I will check with, check it out. But just trust me, it, it does some really clever stuff that I don't want to spoil. Yep, I've actually remembered the anime now that makes my head bleed. Yay! Yeah, it's called XL Saga. Oh, is that related to XL World by any chance? I don't know, but I got 
about three episodes in and my head felt like it was about to explode and blood gushing out my eyes. Yeah, it was not a fun anime for me. Kind of regretted spending the money on it. So a quick Google, it's got a 7.6 on Mal. Yeah, I see that as well, but it still makes my head bleed. Another anime I need to watch, but is like, I don't know where to start with it. Fate Stay. The Fate series. Oh, Fate Stay. I'm pretty sure XL World was a Fate series, wasn't it? I'm going to check that. Put up another question as well. Right, let's look at the other question then. Oh, heck. This is a big controversial question we just had thrown at us. Yeah. Was Ghost in the Shell actually any good? It was I'm... good, but it was a bad Ghost in the Shell adaptation. The film. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a letdown. I think it was a letdown because you didn't feel committed to the characters at all. They got completely off script because you never knew what the Major's background was in the anime. In animes, she was a child that got into a suit and that. But with that one, it went completely off the rails by trying to make it out to be, no, you're not actually. You are just completely a robot who thinks you're human. Yeah, it just, I couldn't connect. Okay. Are you talking about the the movie mm-hmm. now or the... The, no, that's the, the Hollywood one with uh, the yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. Yeah. Yes. I think it was an entertaining movie. It was very, very nicely done. But like you said, Bellary, as an adaptation of the original anime movie, it wasn't good. But I truly enjoyed it anyways. I was, I th- it, looked, it looked nice and it wasn't that awful that I thought it would be. If it- you watch it separately from the anime series, as in watch it without having seen any of the anime before, yeah, it'll work for you. Like, but for those of you that have seen the series before, yeah. it's a case of you can see where it's letting you down. Well, I haven't like, seen the series. I only see, seen the original movie, the original anime movie. Like so many adaptations, it would have been so much better if they hadn't called it Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, if, if they'd done something else, just called it and just went with that. You know, also, that. you know, Batu with his weird eyes just didn't work. <laughs> it felt... It, it was... The whole thing just didn't feel right. It felt like a dark and depressive world, and that's not what the anime was. Well, I think I mean, the anime was dark and depressing, yes. It was So I think cheery. they captured it perfectly. Yeah. yeah, but the anime had... You were out in sunshine. Yes, there were buildings, but it wasn't the towering buildings okay. that would suck away all you the light. It was, like it was too urbanized sort of thing. It was too Judge Dredd for me. It, That's just the lighting wise and the urban nature of it, it was just too Judge red. That's a good way to put it, actually. I do want to give a shout out to the practical effects, though. Jesus Christ, some of they were really oh, cool. Oh, God. Yeah, for, they were for, really nice. The, detaching from story, the effects they pulled off were nice. It's the story that I'm criticizing. The villain was a bit shit as well. How can I put this? The villain wasn't a villain for me, it was too predictable. Yeah, well, we got to remember it's Hollywood, so for being modern Hollywood movie. It wasn't mm. that bad. <laughs> I think the fact that it got made at all is a good thing. Yeah. Like, it shows that anime is becoming a bit more mainstream. Mainstream, mainstream right. yeah. It's not mainstream. It's not, yeah, anyway, but... But it's gradually going in that direction. Yeah. yeah. Also, speaking of anime being mainstream, have you seen that Kanye West has a 1-6 scale Zaku, and I really want it? What? <laughs> Sorry, what is, scale? He has a 1-6 scale Zaku. Flippin' heck. Zaku is one of the, you know, the bad guy Gundams in yeah, like I'd... the UC Lider, just because it sounded confused. Yeah. Uh, he has a 1 6 Char Zaku 2, and I kind of want it. That's <laughs> shit. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. I mean, it's about the size of a person, so I, guess, I don't know if it is 1 6 <laughs> scale, but I've read that it was 1 6. It's probably well, put not it one this six. way if, if it's 1 6 scale, you could sit it in your car and just go into the, you know, Carpooling lanes without any problem. Yeah, I'm with a Gundam. <laughs> the biggest one I have, 160 scale, and I want. I would like a Gundam that's ten times that big. Actually, please, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> you could hollow it out and use it as a cosplay. Yeah. Yeah, I actually watched an episode of. I think it was PewDiePie. I went. He was in Japan and went to the like big by shop Odebio. there. Is it in okay? Odebio? Yeah, there's a giant sort of Gundam standing outside the shop yeah, there. This, yeah. you, that you, looked really nice. The, the, here we go, giving us questions. Here's the best animes on Netflix, and he's going to take them out, and he wants us to discuss them as they come out. So, I don't enough. actually have Netflix, but I might have watched them through other memes. Yes. Durarara is the shit. I love Durarara. Yeah. 
I haven't seen I'd it like even that get one. started on Durara. I've got the Figma Selty Stru- Right, actually, right. So there's a character in Durara called Selty Strulston. She's a Dillahan. And sometime last year, they announced the Figma for her. So I pre-ordered it in February. It got to April and it hadn't come. So I then spent like three months trying to cancel the order. And then I finally got it in March. Yay! Finally. It's actually not a bad anime. I enjoy it. It's got nice bits and pieces to it. Durarara is like the first anime I got legitimately like obsessed over. <laughs> I marathoned all like, what is it? Something like 80 odd episodes um... between the four seasons. It's oh, nah. I really like Durarara. Also, Bacano by the same people, really good. Hmm. Bacano has the better theme song, though. Yeah. So next. I should say next because I could go on Durarara forever. Yeah, I'm going next, though, because <laughs> you're going down a rabbit hole. Kill the Kill is also the shit. It was the first trigger I, show I watched. <laughs> I liked Kill the Kill. It was fun. It was violent. And I actually felt like I was committed to the characters. Yeah, and it, it does a good job of making the fan service actually like part of the plot. Like, yeah. if necessary, it wouldn't be the same without it. And, yeah, it was also a bit nuts, but... Wait, it's fun. Trigger. It was Trigger's first full-length show, actually, wasn't it? I think so, actually, yeah. Because I think they did, like, a couple of OVAs, but, yeah. No, I know. great. And I really want a Figma of one of the characters, but I'm also kind of embarrassed to own one. Which one? <laughs> Ryoko Matoi. Of course. <laughs> to be fair, I'd probably have both. I'd have the Satsuki as well. But uh-huh. I'd be kind of embarrassed to own them, and if you've seen it, you'd probably be aware why. I'm just double shaking because my brain has left me. Which character was it again? Ryoko Matoi is the main ah, character. Ah, yes, the, the main character. I that's remember that. I also remember her outfit, and I can see why you're embarrassed. Satsuki has the eyebrows. Right. <laughs> right. Before yeah. you label me as a degenerate, it makes sense in the context of the show. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> yeah. It's a good show. I swear. <laughs> yep. And incidentally, those outfits that they are wearing are actually alive. They I drink their blood. It's practical. Anime. It's very anime. I think we should move on before your shame overtakes you. <laughs> make a point of how good a job they do with like limited animation. They do some really interesting stuff with it. But I don't know if anyone thinks about stuff like that in as much depth as I do, because I'm really into animation. I think I'm going to save Bellry here and say it next. Fucking hell. Also, right, (laughs) Pule, Pule, I can't even say it. Madoka. Everyone will know what I mean. Pule, Madoka, Madoka, Makania. Yeah, it's such a good genre twist on, like, the fucking magical girl Sailor Moon shit. Yep. It is, oh, I also want Figmas, but they don't make them ones anymore and they're quite expensive. But that's <laughs> nothing to lose your head over now, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the faces are really strange, though. They are funny, really strange faces. Um, yeah. 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 When did Netflix get such good anime? Okay, right. Yeah, like I said, they have exploded now. It's like, oh my when god. Netflix has found out that anime is a big thing. Yeah. But anyway, here comes the next one, I think. Yeah, that oh, one we, we, we I haven't seen. We discussed this earlier, Robotech. Yeah. Well, my nice. first. I, have they done anything with it since? Because, I mean, I, I was like six or seven years old. Like, this this like 1985 when the. 1985 was original? Yeah. I'll just see if anything came out more recently. Nah, the basically 1985, 84 versions were it. Yeah. Is that the one they based Battletech on? I don't know if I'm honest. No, I haven't. I haven't checked out Battletech yet. I have to do it, but Battle I don't Tech think it's. It's a game. For yeah, I, have, I heard game. Total Biscuits talking about it, and it seems like a fun game. Yeah, I like the MechWarrior one where you had the role-playing characters that then had the Battletech battles that went into more depth with characterization. Yeah, there's so many games I have to try. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing Nino Kuni 2 now, uh, and it's fucking awesome. Speaking about anime, I, I think Studio Ghibli still is drawing it. I'm not sure, but they did the the animations for the first Nino Kuni. Mm. It's just goddamn, you know, wonderful looking. I never played the first one. I always had trouble getting into JRPGs. The only JRPG I've ever really been able to get into was Persona 5, and I've recently been doing Persona 4. Yeah. 
you should actually try it because they're not like the standard JRPGs. I'm... It's quite different. What's the last one I played? JRPG Tales of Zestaria, which wasn't bad. I played the Bubblegum Crisis RPG at college. We had fun with that one. Final Fantasy is probably the most well-known JRPG. Oh yeah, sorry, I did play Final Fantasy 15. Oh, fun game. Oh, you did? But then, yeah, I did play it, but then it's not like... The thing that always normally turns us off is the turn-based combat. The thing it's that got not... me to stick it through with Persona 5 was first just how stylish it was and the music was the shit, but also then I got invested in the characters. But yeah. Final Fantasy 15 didn't have that problem with us. I could just hit people and blink around, which was all. They, they, they changed the way they were doing it because they were finding out that with the previous Final Fantasy 12, 13, etc., the turn-based stuff, people were really starting to not like it. They liked the more yeah. action-based style of it. With 15, you can actually set up that you can have almost turn-based if you wish, but it's better the way it is. Yeah, I played both 13 and 13.2, not all the way through 13.2 because I just didn't have any internet and I got stuck. Mm. But otherwise, before that, I think number 10 is like the really good one. Like the last time I played a really good Final Fantasy game was number 10. Anyone else find the last sort of third of 15 really disappointing? Um, not I haven't played it really. So. I found that the bit when you kind of... How can I put this without getting spoilers? You start on your journey back to where you began. They could have done more with that. It felt very... How can I put it? It just felt very poor. It was just... Right, so there's the boss fight, the big boss fight. And then mm. it's very linear after that. And I was really disappointed with the linearity. The individual fights as you make up your way up the tower, I enjoyed. Because they brought out each individual character's special abilities, etc. That was fun. Uh, the big fight at the end, it was too easy. Oh, no, I'm talking about well before that. Oh, all right, are you? Okay. It's literally like the last third of the game. Don't want to yeah. spoil it. Spoilers, you fight a big snake. Oh, sorry, from that point. Yeah. yeah. As soon as you get that big ass fly in the air power ability, it was too ridiculous at that point. After that, when it got back down the ground and it settled down a little bit, yeah, okay, but after that, a good chunk of it was open world, go what you like, do what you like. Then it suddenly went very linear. And I actually liked the fight. I thought the fight was hyper shit. It was just how lin- I just, oh, so linear. It was fun, but after that fight, the story just went on an entirely linear basis, and you couldn't really do much of, nah, I don't feel like doing that, I'm going to go over there instead. Also, Ignis is best boy, and he did not deserve that. Anyway, I think we'll go slightly off topic of the anime conversation. Yeah, well, Final, so, Final Fantasy is so an anime. So, yeah. so I'm going to see next for our next. Did you see the Final Fantasy movie they released? Sort of. Yeah, it wasn't very good. <laughs> no, it was rubbish. Yeah, it was as usually nicely animated. It was gorgeous, but it was. Yeah, uh... they always sort of do that. <laughs> The story is not that great, but it looks good as hell. Right, okay. This is going to be a bit different. He's going to blend in the top 10 most disappointing list with what he's given us so far. So we have to pick a number. So, Mr. Bellray, I'll give you the first chance. Pick a number. 19. Oh, Ooh, Soda Online's an interesting one. I watched Soda Online when I was first getting into anime and was like, I really like this. Yeah. When I had nothing else to compare it to. And Sword then, Art... not to beat a dead horse, because this is the deadest of horses. Mm. Once I had stuff to compare it to, I was like, I could start to see all of the flaws, and there are many numerous flaws that don't need to be repeated here. Cause... In my opinion, it wasn't too bad. It could have gone a lot better, but first season, yeah, could get on board. Last few episodes sucked because they just didn't finish it off. They just kind of spun it out. Season 2 I didn't like because it was too much all over the place. The film wasn't bad. There's another Sword Art series coming out. Uh, it's out now. For the Gun Gale Online. Two episodes, are out two episodes in which season. I've been watching. I'll reserve judgment. First episode I enjoyed. Second I'm not convinced by yet. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be really real for a second. Oh yes, right. Everyone crouched right. down. And... You have to crouch down. <laughs> I, was, I was playing Warframe the other night and there was a guy and he was called XX Kirito XX. Oh god. And I'm not gonna lie, I judged him really harshly. I don't blame you. Like, I instantly was like, do you know what? 
my character in Monster Hunter is called Weep Chan, but that's too far. <laughs> right. Okay. Next number. Over to you, sir. Two. Oh. I have not actually seen this. I have. I. I know it sounds strange. I actually enjoy this one. It oh, is... sorry. It's a regular at Magic yeah. High School, or if you're looking for the Japanese version, Mohoka will get you there. Mohoka. I haven't yeah. seen. It. Sell it to me. It's how can I put this right? Modern day life, magic is real, magicians are real, and everyone inside them has think of it as a calculating space. Okay? And that's how much magic you can cast at once and different variables with it. The story orientates around the main character whose sister is exceptionally gifted magician, considered best up. He is her brother, disowned by the family. He's treated as a bodyguard for her, and according to all the testing, he is a poor magician, etc. But in fact, he's one of those, I'm poor and defenseless, but I'm actually stronger than everyone else knows and can probably whip everyone's ass yeah, in minutes. I think I know which one this is. I still haven't seen it, but it's like he can do like the best magic, but only like six times or something. No, no, wrong anime. <laughs> That's not the Mohoka that I'm talking about. Basically, it's not a bad anime. They've done a film for it as well. If you're looking for something relaxed and fun to watch, give it a go. But if you've seen plenty of anime, you could probably predict where it's going to go. But I, I enjoy it. So, Graham, a number. Hmm. I'm going to go with 16. Oh, good God, that's Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> to let someone else start this one just now. Because so, I may not end. I'm oh. going to preface this with one, I haven't watched it. However, I do think it's an anime because I believe anime is more a stylistic and storytelling sort of thing rather than where it comes from. Like, yeah, this is like American style. Fucking oh comedy. my god. I saw the first episode, or I like 10 or 15 minutes of the first episode, and I was like, this is shit. <laughs> then I dropped it. One. I've never yeah. watched it because I don't before, think it could live up to the hype. I actually liked it. I've watched it. I don't fully count it as anime. I think of it as more as a Western style. It's um, a Western style kid show. But it's a kid <laughs> show. It's, yeah. it's not, in my opinion, an anime. Uh, okay. That's just personal. Okay. Same here. But Same let's here. be real. <laughs> Crouch down again. Most anime is also kid shows. Yes. It's what but, shonen means. Yeah, I know that. But my point that I'm trying to make is that this one... I didn't like, feel fully in depth the characters. This one is this one is directed at kids. You can tell yeah. because it's like it's that kids show stuff. It's like we were watching He Man when you were little or something like that. And it's like Cities yeah. of Gold and Ulysses Thirty One and that's sort of the sorts of things it reminded me of. <gasps> so there's a difference it, between a kids show and uh, anime directed at kids, sort of because. I think the Japanese, when they do their, they don't have the same sort of storytelling stuff that we in the West have, so it gets really obvious that this is a kid show. It, uh, there was no depth to the characters. Yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. We are going to be silly. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to cover the world. I feel uh, like I've lost about 20 internet points by admitting that I haven't actually seen Avatar. No, I well, I've know. only seen 15 no, no, minutes. No, 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 so. Put it this way. <laughs> They've done a live action version of it as well, so that the live, act, the live action version wasn't very good. Yes, yeah, so the live action it, version. And by so Shyamalan, what do you expect? It, is anyway, it that, like from ten years ago with a young yeah. kid. That's the month. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, because that's what I thought it was, but I couldn't see the connection. But that it, movie sucked. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Bellory, um, can you get real with us and give us another <laughs> number? I'm gonna drop. The unlucky 13, I think. Ooh. I have never <laughs> seen Dead Man Wonderland. I no. have and regret. Dead Man Wonderland. It's basically school children end up developing a gift from a prisoner on this island. They then get chucked into the island as prisoners as well. And they have to fight. And to be honest with you, I kind of lost the track of where it was going at various points. I mean, it, it does look a little more dark, though. From what uh, you said, it sounds like 30% of all anime ever. 
I just never got into it. I watched two or three episodes and then kind of gave up. It just didn't. I, I just couldn't commit to it. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, it, it just didn't do anything for me. It's very ugly. <laughs> Anyway, let's move swiftly on then. Next one. Number one. Mushishi. It's on my list again. <laughs> I feel really bad because... I've got fun. I can't recall this one. One second. I'm going to have to Google to see if I can... I know that it's vague, vaguely it's like Samurai is about as much as I know. It's on my list. I've not actually watched it, if I'm honest. Yay. Nobody's I, I... watched Mushishi. Yay. Right. Okay. Next number. Have we had seven yet? Guys, are we sure we're qualified to be discussing anime on a podcast format? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Bonjour, sweet love, patisserie. patisserie. I mean, it sounds like some more blob shit that I'd probably be into, but I haven't seen it. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, I found a wee bit about it, and yeah, I would not be watching this one. Okay, yeah, no, no, that's, yeah, no. It's, it's... I saw a bit, no, that's not my jam. No, I avoided this, that one. This looks like uh, anime of Barbie style. Sort of. yeah, I am literally, I am pulling up the poster of it. Just, and yeah. just from my look of it, it's four guys all going after one woman while cooking cakes. The, yeah. the term you're looking for is shoujo. Okay. Okay, let's move on then. We've got other numbers. Black Rock Shooter. Ooh, I, I did watch Black Rock Shooter. It's interesting. I it's really interesting. I wish I've actually, it was better. It's one that I've not actually watched. So do you know the st- like what, the, not the story of the show, but the story of Black Rock Shooter? No, I've haven't seen any of it. It's based off just a picture that some musician tweeted, and then an anime studio was like, "Shit, that looks really cool. Let's make an anime based off it." And then it got really weird about fights being a metaphor for emotional like differences between people in relationships. Okay. It gets weird. The fight scenes are cool. The character designs are cool. But it, it's weird. Fair enough. Okay. Also, the theme song is really not the best. Is the wonderful Question he... Master just typing them at random now? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Asterix <sighs> War. The Asterix I'm... War is bad. I'm trying to remember it's, what that is. It's very standard, like, light novel adaptations. Oh, yeah. Like, this guy it. is so good, he's the best at the thing, for no discernible reason, but he's the best, and everybody loves him. I've watched the whole thing, and it's not actually quite like that. Yes, he's popular, after a sort, but effectively the way it works is, in this one, it's again, mana, or something along those lines, that people have they can use to use swords martial arts techniques magic etc this guy has so much of it actually damages his body so his sister uses her special ability to basically lock it all up so he can only use a small amount at a time and then on occasion he can break the chains so to speak to use it all at once to say oh no we're going to die oh wait a minute crunch big power spurge defeats everybody when it came out, it was kind of in the middle of things that were doing things similarly, so it was par for the course, to be honest with you. If it had come out when they didn't have things similar, it may have been okay, but otherwise it got lost amongst other things. I gave it like three episodes, and I was like, it's not doing anything I haven't seen a million times before, and I haven't seen done a lot better. I watched all of it, but that's mainly just because I was bored. Also, again, I thought it was quite ugly. The colours were too garish. The contrast with colours, it was too pantomimish. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. And it's not like... So you can do like really bright colours, garish colours really well. Like, No Game No Life has yeah, the most but... absurd colour palette, but it's gorgeous. But this was just no. It was uh, yeah. like clowns... Too, I don't know, clowns having an orgy. <laughs> and on that wonderful note, next one, please. Bleach. I love Bleach. Bleach we we stepped on this a little bit earlier. Yeah. Uh, so I tell you what, this time we'll start with Lanida and we'll work our way around. Yeah. Well, this is actually the first long-running anime series that I watched that I actually got caught in. I mean, all the fillers, they suck. I, of course they do. But I love the the style of it, everything going on with it. And uh, it's just a lovely series. And I'm glad that it had an ending, so that I didn't have to watch 500 episodes of it. But yeah, I really, really like Bleach. It's 
way up my alley, the art style and everything, and just, yeah. Okay, so this is where I diverge from the love. Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece, oddly enough like Shonen Jump's big three, are all in the same sort of category for me of shows that put me off anime for about a decade. And I don't know, it's just, there was something about them that just didn't appeal to us and still don't. And I don't know why. I just, I can't. It's too much. Mm. And I don't know why, but the trash. Fair enough. And... <laughs> For Bleach, first three seasons I enjoyed. When they started throwing in the filler seasons, I kind of lost a bit of interest. The way it ended anime-wise, I was a little disappointed because I'd actually read along with the manga with it. And the manga was so much better ending. Yes, okay. it, w- it would have gone on for a couple more seasons, but the manga's ending was so much better. It actually explained a lot more. It just felt a more rounded ending, whereas the anime one was, yes, we get to this point, and we're just going to stop it. You go, but there are questions. <laughs> yeah, well, then you read the manga, so, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Yeah. So, oh. Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans is a somewhat controversial yeah. uh, Gundam series. I really like it. I thought it was a return to the sort of more gritty, more politically driven Gundam shows after we had things like Wing and Double O. But a lot of people don't like it, and I don't know why. Also, the Barbatos is really cool. It's such a cool design. I have like three Barbatoses. <laughs> I'm not sure I actually watched this one. It might have been because... Because when I got to this one, I probably was, like you said, it was like, maybe I just got put off of it. I've, I don't know. I have watched this one. And sorry, Belry, I kind of disagree with you. Yes, mechs look wonderful. It just didn't feel right to me. The fight sequences, that sort of thing. The story was a bit lacking on my part. I didn't like the ending. It just, I like coming away from an anime with a feeling at the end of it. I came away from this one at the end of it basically not caring one way or the other. I mean, yes, I didn't particularly care for Cordelia Einabarstein. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> what a name. It couldn't have ended any other way, I don't think. Because let's be honest, the main characters weren't good people. Couldn't have ended any of us. The bit that confused me, the bit between Orga and I've forgotten the smaller guy's name. Mitsuki. Thank you. You keep getting wee flashback bits of you saved my life, etc. They never explained it. I don't the, think it was really that important. It was just there were street kids who grew up together and that's why like I know, but you relied it, so much on Olga. For me, it was a plot hole. But I mean, I can see that. I think we may have to agree to disagree on this particular one. But I will <laughs> not hear anyone say anything against raise your flag because that is a jam. As is the ED Orphans No Namia if you're in tier blues, which is a great song. Fair enough. Anyway, next one, please. Psycho Pass. <laughs> Psycho Pass is on my list. Psycho Pass is about. Oh, what's the film where it's like the people who can tell if you're going to do a crime before you do a crime? In oh, God, it's the one with Tom oh. Cruise. In order to report. Yes, thank, thank you. you. So essentially, it's. They psychologically profile everyone to sort of get how likely someone is to do a crime. And it's the same sort of like pre-crime stuff. But then it gets all into like, as far as I understand, I've actually seen it yet. It gets all into like police state shit. And it looks really good. And it's just on my list. Yeah, it's <laughs> too much anime. It looks, it looks really good. So I, I haven't have actually got around to watching it myself either. Uh, so on that note, can we get another one, please? Maybe we know this one. Huh? <laughs> What? Squid girl. I'm now having to Google. Yeah, same here. Belly is being very quiet. Oh my god. Oh, for that. Is... In, in, initial impressions, <laughs> oh heck. Yeah, this is like, wouldn't watch this. No. No, I, 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 so... I would probably pass this one. Did you hear about what I said about how it might be an etchy then? No, we didn't. So all I've seen is like one animated gif. And I'm not sure what I can tell based on it, but it might be etchy. I don't think it is. I've managed to get a wee clip of... It looks like one of those weird ones. I don't think it's etchy, though. I hope not. With a name like Squid Girl and Japan's reputation. Well, put it this way, I've just seen the bit where the girl who is actually a squid, but in girl form, has just inked by throwing up on it. Yep, pass. Next, please. 
Ooh, <laughs> I like this one. Akami ga kill. I couldn't get into it. It was too... It felt like it was trying too hard. I agree with you, it was trying too hard, but I did watch it through to the end. Fair enough. It's one of those things that I think if I could probably get over myself, I'd probably enjoy it. But I just felt like it was trying too hard to appeal to 14-year-old boys. It was trying very hard. They <laughs> threw too much into it. It looks nice, though. Oh, it looks nice. The manga version is fun. Anime one. Uh, anyway, on that kind of quiet I always used bit. to get it confused with Kill Kill when I was yeah. getting into anime because the names are very similar. <laughs> well, well let's... my thoughts on Naruto and conversely Naruto, Naruto Shippuden. <laughs> That's the second incarnation of the Naruto universe. Is yeah. it like the same thing? It's just a time skip. Is Basically, I... yeah, but the first one was up to 230 episodes, so they couldn't really just continue it. So they did the time skip, started fresh, and then did another, God, no, how many episodes, but quite a lot. Yeah, I tried to get into it, but it doesn't really catch my... No. The filler episodes, much as in Bleach, sucked. The main storyline wasn't bad. Yeah, well, I think the problem is that it's... Bleach and... is a little bit more grown up than Naruto. Yeah. Shippuden um, went to 500, by the way. Yeah, I just checked it on Crunchyroll. The 17 seasons and yeah. 500. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes but, a hell of a long season for an anime mind. Yeah, it's, it's what I think is one of the big runners. I can only think of one anime that actually has more episodes in it and still going. Gintama, <laughs> I think, might have more. One Piece is up in the 600s at the moment. Also, One Piece is trash. Let's move on, and first of all, One Piece will be the next thing up on the list. Yeah, probably will be. The Legend of Korra. Uh, I'm just going to skip over this one, because this is Avatar, just the next version. Same as Avatar. So, just skip over that one. The Seven well, Deadly like Sins. Them. Oh, I actually I like The Seven Deadly Sins. I I've didn't... seen bits of it, and I don't like it, and the main character is a weird man-child. My husband likes it. I haven't got around to watching it yet. Yeah, you, I haven't I, actually watched it yet. I probably should get around to watching it. Yeah, it's, point, it's like but... only one season and like four episodes out yet, I think. But it's sort of a it's a fun anime. It's sort of a serious story. The characters are sort of crazy as fun, and so it's yeah, I like it a lot. Are we thinking of the same show? I don't think yeah, we so are. The main character is this really muscular man-child. No, 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 no. Broken sword. no, no, no. He's a little, he's a little dude. Yeah, he's a little he's a dude with a with lot the of sword from the clip I saw. Yeah, but he yeah, turns and, out to be and quite and predictable. The, the the bar is like on a giant pig. That thing they have yeah. a, a okay. pig. Yeah. yeah, we are thinking of the same thing. The main character's main design really put me off because yeah. it, it's just it's disturbing to me. It works quite well for the pig though. He's too short to be that yes, muscular. Yes, the pig. It's creepy. Well, he isn't that muscular all the time. He's normally he's just this little funny dude and not muscular at all. It's just when he's like fighting, he gets this big. But all the other characters, I mean, it's yeah, it's fun. It's silly at times. It's good at times. It's yeah, you know, you should really give it a try, Graham. It's, I may uh, get around to it at some point. It's it's not one of those deep. Animes. It's one of those chill out, relax, and have some fun animes. You don't have to be too invested it. in it. Yeah. And, okay. But it's got a nice set of characters. <laughs> They're really strange. You know how we're saying that Naruto has entirely too many episodes? Yes. Boruto's dad's son already has 53 episodes. Yes. Like, they need to calm down. No. Magical Shopping Arcade. What? What the? Okay, I'm going to have to Google that one. It's not springing any memories. I may cringe in a moment. I apologize to listeners. Yeah, same here. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an, an another airbender, but it's probably not. Doesn't look like airbender. No, but hey. the, the, first, the first I saw it was like, hmm. It's fucking Gynax. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. No, thank you. Working we along. Parallel world. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. It, it's it's Gynax. Yeah. Gynax is supposed to do good things. Why have you forsaken us, Gynax? Is your worldview forever spoiled now? <laughs> yes, Gynax. Why would you do this? Admittedly yeah. in 2002. Okay, give us the next one before he goes into a stroke. 
Oh, this one is good. I actually got about halfway through and then stopped watching it. I have always meant to go back and watch it. It's the Knights of Sidonia. It's yeah, I think there's two uh, seasons out on. Yeah. And I'm I'm just longing for the next one. I think Billy's it's always uh, obviously so shocked by this that he's being speechless. No, it's it's just one of those ones that I haven't watched again. Okay. Mainly because of the hype around it and I'm not convinced it'll live up to the hype. I Oh, is there a hype around it? Okay. It's not really lived up to the hype for me, if I'm honest. Yeah. I just was like, this one was one of the first, I think, that got out on Netflix, sort of anime series. And I was like, okay, this looks nice. Let's check it out. And I was like, yeah, it's in, 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 in its own style. And uh, it's kind of an interesting story as well. So, and I haven't, I hadn't, hadn't heard anything about it before. So since I'm not that much of an anime buff as you guys are, but don't, you should, call, you should don't, definitely... don't call us buffs. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Have you heard how many shows I've been like, I haven't seen that. Yeah. But you should actually watch it. It's, yeah, it's nice. Okay. It's good. If we could have the next one, please. Slayers. I've never even heard of Slayers. I've heard of, I haven't actually watched. So I can't really comment about. Save us, Lenida. Tell us all about <laughs> Slayers. Good call. Our illustrious typer has actually seen this one <laughs> and read it. And still, and blames Mads for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think maybe new topic. No game, no life. I, I actually, actually liked, liked this I really one. liked it. It was a nice difference some, from your combat style ones. Yeah, it did some really interesting things with the competitions. Amazing. But before we start talking about it, to those of you that don't watch it, this one is about brother and sister basically they're neats and if you don't know what that is go google it and basically between the pair of them they rule every game they play pulled into a parallel world where the god of that world has set up that games are rules you set up an agreement with the rules and you then play the games and the games will decide wars famine what resources you get the games pull it so you could play a game of chess to rule the world. You can't actually hurt another person or disagreements uh, yeah. sorted out by games. It's actually not bad. It's a nice clip away from combat. Main characters are actually funny enough. They are a bit of dicks at times, but they are actually fun characters. I'm going to have to see this one, I think. It goes a little heavy on the fan service sometimes if you put off by that, though, to be fair. Every now and again, yeah. But it's, I think it's also... I pity that poor princess. It's worth seeing it's anime. They all yeah. that. It looks so good as well. Yeah. The it, palette is amazing. I would, I would recommend giving it a go. It's it's nice, light-hearted and fun. Next. Fushi Yugi. Sorry, Fushigi Yugi. I'm not recalling this one at the moment. So I'll have the to only do thing Google that one. The only thing I know Yugi from is like fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to have to pass on this one because I don't know it. This is a question harking back to your thoughts about anime and kids programs. What do you count Digimon and Pokemon as? They're anime, yeah. Yeah, they're... Um, yeah, they're anime. They originated kids, kids in Japan. anime. Originated in Japan and <laughs> funnily enough, much like the next one that comes up in the list, Beyblade. Oh, I was so fucking into Beyblade when I was a kid. I, <laughs> I watched it. First incarnation of it. Yeah, fine. I could get on board with it. Enjoyed it. It's then the multiple different incarnations that came out afterwards. I just went, ah, oh, too much. Oh, and they made the toys of it, right? As I've seen the commercial for the toys. Like, but... It was an it anime was... built around a toy. Yeah. Oh, yeah it, was, the... yeah, it was the same thing as Transformers. It was an advert. Yeah. But I was exactly the right age, and I got really into it. I would not watch it now, because I'm sure I yeah. would hate it. But when I was a kid, that kid who had a giant turtle come out of his spinning top, that was sweet. Yeah. We oh. had fucking Beyblade competitions in school. It was great. You know, like the uh, oh, summer festivals you have at school. Yeah. You'd have like uh, the you know the vacuum formed, really thin plastic Beyblade arenas you got. We had hmm. one of them and just had Beyblade competitions. It was pretty sweet. Never you are a youngster, that. aren't you? I'm a what? Sorry. You're a youngster. I'm 25. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> May we have the next one, please? I have never heard of Here is Greenwood. Neither have I. I'm going to have to Google. Cocoa Greenwood. No, I'm still going to stick with I don't know. 
I no, this is it. long before my time. This is like 87, Christ. Yeah, pass. Gonna have to go for another one. Aura High School Host Club. Not seen it, but I know no what of, it's about. <laughs> no of, will never watch. Oh, it's fucking... It's essentially like... Ah, oh, fuck. It's very shoujo. It's another sort of like reverse harem show in it. Effectively, yes. It's just... I don't like it. So, yeah. I'm going to take the executive decision of say, moving on. Yeah. Mainly because no one has actually seen Berserk. it. <laughs> Berserk. I kind of got into this when it first started and then kind of gave off. Very violent one. I couldn't get a feel for it. I felt creeped out after watching it. So, I haven't seen the original adaptation of Berserk, but they recently came out with a new adaptation of Berserk. Yeah, that's I, the first one that I watched. I watched a few and I'm aware that it, it was terrible. I'm aware it's not because Berserk is terrible, it's because this adaptation is just the worst. Hmm. But I have to want to go back and watch the original one because I'm still a bit mad at the more recent adaption. <laughs> also, what? apparently it still hasn't ended and everybody's like, when will Berserk end? Hmm. What about you, Lanida? Oh, I haven't seen it. Okay, so on that note... Hi, Hi Bonnet. <laughs> I've heard the name. I've Hi, heard the name. Yeah. I'm, I'm really googling. Yeah, I'm going to Google as well. Just so. No, it's not really ringing a bell with me. Christ, no. I have no idea what that is. It looks pretty, though. It does look nice. I might give it a go at some point. Our next That's anime is Guilty Crown, which I can actually say I have watched. I thought Guilty Crown was games. No. Might have been. Not sure. Well, I certainly haven't watched it or played it. I've seen this anime, which is actually not bad. It comes down to the fact that the main character, normal schoolboy, goes around and then gets pulled into a fight between the government and a rogue rebellion, etc. Ends up injecting himself with something and then gains the power to... I can't even remember what it's called, but basically you can put the his power hand... Of kings. Thank you. You can put his hand inside somebody and pull out the nature of their soul, which would take a form of an item. The main female character pulls out a giant sword. Various other different types. Basically, it all comes down to the main premise of the system is it's a class system. It comes out of the usefulness of one's soul, etc. It's, it's actually not a bad one to watch. Ending... I could see why they were building up to that ending. It wasn't bad. Not my particular cup of tea, but otherwise not bad. I'm just going to read this synopsis I found, right? It gets pretty in-depth, so just spoilers ahead. A 17-year-old boy accidentally obtains a rare and great power. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, that's what it is. That's it's, every I'm... fucking anime ever. <laughs> It's not bad. The music in it's half decent as well, and the animation is actually not too bad. Next one, please. Oh, there we have Aldnoa Zero. I can't say I'm familiar with Aldnoa Zero. Is anyone else? Not ringing no. a bell. I'm just gonna Google and see what it is. Same. I don't yeah. actually know the Aldora Zero. No, but so it I seems uh, like a nice mech on it, so it might be mm. worth watching. I have to check it out, I think. So, I'm going to mention a show that I'm surprised hasn't come up yet. People are probably familiar with Keon, I assume, yeah? He's no Keon. Mm. Well, Keon is like a really popular slice of life thing that's apparently really good. But I refuse to watch Keon because I am put off by the fact that all the characters have really tiny hands. And it just doesn't. <laughs> it's not, the hands are too small. Like, how do the. It's about them in a band. Like, how, how does she play guitar? Her hands are too tiny to play guitar. It's just so strange. Okay. Next one. God Eater. Sounds familiar. So, it's an anime version of a game. Yeah, I only know God Eater from the game. Watch the anime, it wasn't up to much, to be honest. Oh, okay, that's what, that it's a game I've seen, yeah. yeah. The games aren't great either. Monster Hunter clone, but not as good. Yeah. On a side note, what are opinions with anime? Do you prefer dubbed versions, or do you prefer subtitled versions? Subtitles, of course. Subs, although there are a Subt few good dubs out there. For Subtitles example, is my preference. 
the Bacchanal dub is probably better than the sub because it's set in like Prohibition 1920s America mm. and they do a really good job of bringing that up with the dub. Cabo Bebop has an infamously really good dub. Yeah. yeah. But for the most things, the sub's much better. Yeah. yeah I always do that in games as well. Just, you know, turn it on to the Japanese original language. Yeah. Because I can't stand the dubs usually. The English voice acting in Persona 5 is terrible. <laughs> it's a shame you actually have to download Okay, we, we must be getting second. close to the end of this list now. Next one, please. Azura Striker Gunvolt the Anime. Seems word, familiar as well. The word I'm, Gunvolt rings a bell. I th- there was a one episode anime that came out and I was hoping they would do more of it, but I never saw it. Yes, it was the one episode anime that I watched. I've not actually seen any more episodes of this, which is a little annoying. Okay, so apparently it's based off a 3DS game. Mm. It's also on Steam. I think, I'm not sure how many episodes it had, but I've only seen one episode of it. Yeah, it says releasing worldwide on February the 9th, 2017. Yeah, it's... The, the, the it was game, a, I think. Yeah. It was a single episode that came out. It showed a lot of promise, and I would have watched more of it if it came out, but there was no more of it. They obviously cancelled it. So, is that one that has come from the list just the OVA, then, not like in a, this, a series? The way it did it, it had actually opened it up to be a series, but they didn't do anything with it, which was really annoying, because it wasn't half bad. Well, it apparently only came out last year, so there's still time. Came out in 2017, single episode came out. So, I only know Danganronpa again from the games, and I believe the games are first. They are visual novels that are about someone in like a class or a group of people is murdered, and you have to find out who did the murder. Yeah, I've never watched it. They're apparently really good. I haven't watched any of the animes and I haven't actually played any of the visual novels. Mm. But I hear the good, if that's your thing. I just can't be bothered with visual novels that take forever. Yep. So, next. Eakin? 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 It's know. not ringing a bell. No. Oh, let's see what it is. Eakin Buyori Al Bokumete. It's a fan service themed manga and anime series. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> This one actually is an etchy. It is. Well, put it this way. He the is plot forced of... into the Densuku... mysterious anchor club. Densuku Sorry. has just enrolled at the exclusive Zasuno Academy. He's very eager to participate in extracurricular activities, but never expected to join the mysterious Ekin Club. Strangely though, every other member is a busty co-ed, and many of the club's activities involve bikinis. But he isn't interested in anyone except for the shy and beautiful Chiaru. Yeah. 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 No Nothing thanks. There. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Next. Save us from this uncomfortable. Yeah. First three <laughs> volumes of the manga were rated 16 plus, and all subsequent volumes were then rated 18 plus. So that tells you what we're dealing with right here. Yeah. Black. Butler. I haven't actually watched it. Black Butler is one that I vehemently refuse to watch because I think it looks trash. Okay. And I'm probably, probably going to get flack for saying that because I understand it's fairly popular, but I think it looks like trash. Next one. Again, I'm going to have to Google this one. Yeah. It's called Yuzo Kiko Danchuga Nova or something like that. Well done. I was figuring out how to pass that one. <laughs> Yeah, that's a mouthful. It is a bit. It looks like another mech-based one. I have a synopsis. Yeah. In the 22nd century, there are no longer any worldwide wars. Instead, small-scale wars break out all over the Earth. Meanwhile, a large robot appears who protects the weak. It is called Dankugar Nova. Some even call it God. However, no one knows the reason for existence, not even its pilots. Then another robot, beyond anyone's expectation, reveals itself as the true enemy and begins his attack on the Earth. Never Dan seen this Cougar one before. Nova retaliates <laughs> against the enemy with a power that has kept secret until now. Will Dan Cougar Nova be able to save the Earth? Prelude to this explosive confrontation rings out. It sounds awful and they all have clan eyes, so I don't think I'll be watching yeah. this one. I'm probably going to skip that there. one. 
yeah, yeah 2007. It's right in that sort of zone of like yeah. where What's guys a planet I? Planet or a music group? Planet is an anime from mid 2000s that has really bad eyes. Because they're also an Irish music group. The so music picture. made all the soundtrack from Robin Hood series. Yeah, give us, a, give us an example of the Clanad yeah, eyes. Clanad, the group, are definitely much older than the anime, which is why it's confusing as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's even spelt the same way. That's just. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, I don't mind those eyes. Unique the Twelve okay. Kingdoms. Again, I'm gonna have to Google this one to try and spark a memory. Yeah, looks like anything I've seen. Okay. The Twelve Kingdoms I've never seen. Never heard of it. It sounds like it's probably based off fucking Journey to the West, though, with a name like that. So next one, uh, Parasite. I actually did watch Parasite. It's interesting. The story just sort of happens though. So if you don't know, aliens invade and they burrow into you, essentially eat your head and then replace your head. And then they have fights by peeling their head apart with blade tentacles and it's weird. But our main character is wearing earphones when one alien comes to him. And so the alien's like, I can't get into his brain to ease head. So he just eats his arm instead. So it's like buddy cop film, I guess, but really dark. And he's got an alien for an arm. And it, it could have been a lot better, but it wasn't terrible. But the theme Mid-range. song is trying far too hard. The theme song is very edgy. Fair enough. Very screamy. And I'm not... Like, yeah, like, stuff happens, and then it's the end of the show. Also, the spell Parasite wrong. Parasite doesn't have a Y in it. No, but I think that's the point that, That's the name of the anime. Yeah. I know, <laughs> I know it is, and it bothers me. It genuinely bothers me. English not being your first language is no excuse. <laughs> Shamurai yeah. Champloo. Is that the one with the shoe where he has the sandals? <laughs> yeah, that narrows it down. Yes, it's a samurai beast one. Never actually watched it, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's so weird. it's samurai, but the main guy, he has these like sandals with metal plates on them. And his fighting style is based on like breakdancing. Yeah. The soundtrack is all, reflects that. It's not my jam, but the choreography is pretty cool. I don't know, I kind of lump it in the same sort of space as Afro Samurai, even though they're completely different. Probably because they're both about Samurai. Probably, yes. <laughs> right. Okay then, let's next get one. the next one. Steins Gate. Steins Gate is another one that's on my list, but there's a lot to it. Apparently there's a whole bunch of shit to do with time travel and multiverse <laughs> theory. It's also based off a computer game, I think. Yes, it is. Steins Gate is really popular and considered a landmark anime, and I am losing anime cred by the second. (laughs) Well, I'm going to join you that one, seeing as I've not actually watched it yet. No, me neither. Sorry. Real Wars. I think I actually have watched this one. I'm just going to double check. While everyone else remains quiet going, we haven't. I'm trying to think if it's, if I'm thinking right. It is. I have actually watched this one. Effectively, it's in a time where trains are the be all and end all of everything and before you go into it there isn't actually war story it's normal towns etc it's about the staff that support railways a new team is put together with different characters the main guy is a railway obsessed nerd you then have the athletic girl who is more into the security side of it and you go from there of them going on their different adventures on the rails. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of a completely, completely different anime. It was a bit of a disappointment, if I'm honest. I'm nice premise, that. but disappointment, I wouldn't recommend. Next one. Yeah. I have to say, you really, really did not sell that to me there. Yeah, that's <laughs> Even because the premise. I... the just, just no. I just really didn't like it either. (laughs) I think you're being generous by saying it's a good premise. I mean, yeah, it sounds like something that only the world's most boring people would appreciate. Train spotters. It (laughs) felt like it was an army made for train spotters, to be honest. I never got train spotted. No no offense to train spotters. It's all they do sit there with the notebook and like note down the trains that go past. I don't know, but if any of our followers, train spotters, can let us know. 
<laughs> they eat go it. and track down different types of engines and when they're on trains they can work out if you're coming up to points exactly which trains can go on which line because of different types of electrification or gauge or whatever the fuck it is it's really boring don't ask one of them to start on about it Fair enough. They, they also t- tend to know when the new steam trains are going down tracks if they're moving them between heritage railways or things like that or if the Pullman's going down to Victoria so you see them gather at the station to watch the steam train go through but at that point it's worth it because steam trains are awesome I'm actually really disappointed because I thought the Eat Kid Cats was the name of the next anime <laughs> that I hadn't heard of but I would pro- it sounds like something I would enjoy <laughs> the next anime is Kyokai no Katana yeah, I haven't seen that. I one haven't either. seen it, but apparently it's Kyoani, like Kyo Animation. So uh, they usually do I pretty ha- solid stuff. I yeah. have seen it. It's actually okay. It's interesting premise, and the story's not bad. Animation's good, and I actually felt like I was committing to the characters. Is it a romance? Because it is made by Kyoto Animation, it so it's is, probably a romance. It is a bit of a romance, yes. Yeah, Kyoto Animation, they have their thing. And they do it very yeah. well. I wouldn't put it in my top 10 or anything like that, but it's not bad to pass the time. Next. Blood, Blood Plus. Plus. Oh god, this sounds on the same level as Helsing, doesn't it? Sounds a bit like Blood Sea. I'm not sure I want to Google this one. I haven't actually watched it, hence me Googling. Yep, I didn't want to Google it, I didn't get anime, I got other things. Okay, that's I why you have help. <laughs> that's why you've got to do it. Oh honey, are you sure you need help? That's why you do Blood Plus <laughs> anime. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean there? <laughs> You're a vampire in skies. Oh, God. Okay. Moving on before I get creeped out. Yeah. That was just another vampire one, it seems. I, I haven't know. seen it. Rurunai Kenshin. I haven't oh, watched it. I know what it is. Good things. It's a samurai I, okay. Yeah. It's so on my list. I have a long it's, list, guys. It's about a samurai who's considered basically the greatest swordsman ever and greatest killer ever that denounces from killing people. That's about all I know. It looks really good. It's from like the same sort of period as like from the 90s where you got like bloody, what do you call it, Cowboy Bebop and uh, Ghost in the Shell. It's like that sort of same sort of period, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. But yeah, it looks good, and I've meant to watch it, but I have a really long list that I need to get through, guys. Yeah. Right. Oh. oh. <laughs> Giver. Oh God. Giver's fucked up. Giver bio boosted yeah. armor. They've actually done a movie, a real action movie, this one. They did live yeah. action ones. They actually yeah. did two of them. Did I they did one see... back in like the 80s? Yeah. I happened to see the second of the live action ones, which wasn't bad. First one actually had Mark Hamill in it. No. Um, Yes, yep. the anim- which kind of got me saying that's crap. Saw it come up in the anime and says, "Right, fine, I'll watch a bit of it." The anime was, of course, superior across the board. Ending didn't quite work for me, but the combat, the fighting, the character development all the way through was fine. Just when it got into the last three or four episodes, it just lost its pace. It ran out too soon. I mean, it's like hyper violence and like a bit of body horror, like. Hey kids, do you want to watch a dude melt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, enjoy that. But yeah, it comes from that time when sort of like, it, it, it was originally from the 80s, I believe. Yeah. And it's sort of like, let's see how far we can push things. When sort of anime was starting to like, become a bit more adult. Yeah. Mm. This is when it might have gone a little bit too far, I think. Right. <laughs> I'm not criticizing it, I just think they got a bit carried away. So the last obvious right. one then? Oh, <laughs> I like Attack on Titan. Attack I like on Attack Titan. on Titan. I have a Figma Mikasa, but the characters are terrible. I enjoy it for the world. I in the anime. Don't, I don't like Attack on Titan. I just never got into it. It just didn't work yeah, for me. I haven't seen the anime. I just have one of the games for my PS4, and it's uh, kind not, of fun, but it's weird. <laughs> are we still talking about Attack on Titan? Yeah, yeah Attack on That's Titan. Yeah. yeah. There's a new game actually that came out. Yeah, yeah it seems. Another Attack on Titan. It seems just like the one I got. Uh, yeah, I have the first one, Wings of Freedom, and that yeah, is that's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's cool for a while. I play it every now and then, but it looks like the second one is exactly the same, almost. Yeah. Attack on Titan is good, at least not for the main characters. Mm-hmm. The main characters are all two-dimensional and assholes, but 
the world is really interesting, and that's why I enjoy Attack on Titan. Also, it has some of the hypest music. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening, and goodbye, good night, and don't try and take Bellary's cred anymore. <laughs> if you want us to talk about a particular anime, by all means, suggest it. We might have a look at it if we haven't seen it or not. We might not be nice about it, but we'll probably give it a look. So, yeah. Yeah, it would be nice to have something that we all yeah. have seen and discuss. So, so throw out something, we'll have a look at it, and we'll give you our honest personal opinions. They may agree with you, they may not, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. Wave bye bye. Wait, wait. Bye bye. Good night. Good Sleepy time. Arigato for listening, everyone. If you'd like us to do more anime cast or even a similar theme, let us know on Facebook slash Twitter at Penance RPG. If you'd like to support us for future projects, we have a Patreon at patreon.com slash penance RPG or just buy us a Ko-Fi at ko-fi.com slash penance RPG. This episode of the anime cast was brought to you by Bellary, Graham, Daniel, Ash and Dragon. The episode was edited by Nikolai Pupski and the artwork was by John Moore.